children, today we will be reading one of the famous fables. Yes, and the story illustrates that a kind deed is never ever wasted. So children, do not ever ever get tired of being kind. Enjoy reading! The Lion and the Mouse The Lion and the Mouse as told by Mabel Watts Illustrated by Bonnie and Bill Rutherford. Niji, the little gray mouse, scampered through the jungle. She saw tall, freckly giraffes peeping out over beautiful blossoms. She saw shy zebras with stripes. And she saw leaping leopards with polka dots. Everything was quiet in the jungle till Niji happened to run over a sleeping lion named Lionel. Right away, the lion woke up and roared. Rrr! He was tony and yoni and terribly big. And he stretched himself and he stretched himself till he grew some more. Niji was frightened. Excuse me, she said. It was an accident. And I'm very sorry. Accident, accident, growled Lionel. Couldn't you see me? The little gray mouse trembled. You looked like a still little hill of wavy yellow grass, she said. Hmm, a likely story, a likely story indeed, sniffed Lionel. But it's true, said Miji. I was looking for some seed for my mother, and there you were. Nutmegs, growled the lion. And swat, down came his mighty foe right over the little gray mouse. Ouch, squealed Miji. She was really frightened now. You must my mane, roared the lion. You tickled my nose. You sent shivers down my back. You woke me from a good sound snooze, and now I'm going to eat you up. Let me go, please, begged Miji. Maybe someday I will be able to help you. Why? You're only as big as a minute, laughed Lionel. And what could Itchy Bitchy you ever do to help big, strong, powerful me? I could fan you, said Miji to keep away the flies. Flies, roared Lionel. Who cares about flies? I could bring you some acorns, offered the mouse. You could string them together and make a crown. Then everyone would know you are king of the beasts. Acorns, sniffed Lionel. Who wants acorns? I know where there is a dandy mouse trap, said Meiji. You could snap it onto your tail. It would help you remember all sorts of things. <laughs> if that isn't good, laughed Lionel. You and your ideas. <laughs> oh my, you are funny. He wasn't mad at Meiji anymore, so he lifted his paw and let her go. Run along now, he said, before I change my mind. You saved my life, said Miji. Someday I'll do the same for you. You're such a funny little mouse, giggled Lionel. <laughs> Remember, said Miji, if you ever need help, just roar. Goodbye, laughed Lionel. To the loo! said Miji, and away she scampered. Miji did not see Lionel for a long, long time after that. Day after day, she saw ostriches and monkeys and secretary birds writing letters. She saw hippos splashing in the river, giraffes romping, and zebras galloping off every which way. She heard great elephants walking thump, thump, thump between the date farms, but she did not see Lionel. 
Then, one afternoon, Miji went out to gather honey in an acorn cup. Everything was quiet in the jungle till all of a sudden, there was a thunderous roar. Oh, what a roar! The birds flew up into the sky. The animals scattered into the bushes. The coconuts rattled down from the trees. I'd know that roar anywhere, said Miji. It's Lionel, and he's in some sort of trouble. Arrgh! There it was again. Wait a minute, squeaked Miji. I'm coming. The little gray mouse ran to the place where the great noise came from, and sure enough, there was her friend, the lion. He was all tied up with ropes, and he looked very unhappy. Some hunters caught me in a trap, said Lionel. They tied me up. Now they've gone to get a wagon to take me to a circus. I'll get you loose in a jiffy, promised Miji. Now don't move. The little gray mouse began to chew on the cruel ropes with her sharp little teeth. It was hard work because... The ropes were strong and tough. After a while, Miji grew hungry and thirsty and tired, but she did not give up. Instead, she gnawed and nibbled till she chewed those ropes clear through. And Lionel the lion was free and happy again. He stretched and he stretched. Oh, thank you, little mouse, he said. You may be only as big as a minute, but you certainly were a big help to me. Let's be good friends for always, squeaked the mouse. For always, agreed the lion. Lionel rolled over on the grass. He purred and he purred and he purred. He was so grateful to his friend, the little gray mouse. Yeah.